everybody, and welcome to another edition of Tabletop Simulator with the Human Echoes. Yeah, peeps. Um, what is this background? I like it. We're in like a street, I think, corner somewhere. Yeah, just in the middle of the street. Like, we got some like Greek looking cafe. Yeah. Uh, pet cafe. There's a pharmacy. We are in, man, I don't know where we are. Pharmacy might be spelled. Okay, Poland? I, don't know. I have no idea where we are. Anyway, we are going to give <laughs> actual Chinese checkers a turn here. Um, yeah. Somehow we both have not played this. I've never played this. Or at least game. I know I haven't. And it's like one of the most common games ever. Yeah. I, so we, we thought we would give it a shot. <laughs> I remember oh, you would always take it out and play like with the stuff, but I never actually played a game with it. Like as a kid, this was just like a toy. Um, I'm not entirely sure if all the other marbles are supposed to be there at this point, but if it's a two-player game, it says you just take out ten of your color and put them down opposite each other. So that's what we're doing. Um, it's pretty simple. Take turns. You can move one on your turn. If you have the opportunity, you can jump uh, a marble. Nothing gets taken off the board at any point. Jumping is just a way to accelerate your movement. All right. Um, my only question, as I say that, is if you can jump yourself. Probably not. Yeah, otherwise you'd be like, hey, five. Yeah. <laughs> no, it just says other marbles. Make one or more and hops like, over other get marbles. them into yours or into any of these other ones? Into the opposite triangle. So we all have to move ah. forward. Uh, and then there's an interesting little discussion in the rules about how the original rules don't ever mention what happens if, you know, someone turtles up and just leaves a, a marble in the triangle, blocking the person from occupying all ten holes. I think that is admitting defeat yes. and it's a pansy-ass move. that is what it sort of then goes on to imply. Um... <laughs> Once you enter the opposite triangle, you can't leave it. You can just move around in the triangle. All right. And I'm starting to think that you can jump your own piece. You don't have to take every jump that's given to you. That's good to know because I always get screwed in checkers with that. Yeah. It's like, oh, I have to take this one jump that opens me up to get jumped seven times. Yes. And then all of a sudden people are throwing queens on the board. <laughs> that's chess. Each hop may be over any colored marble, including the player's own. It can proceed in any one of the six directions. After each hop, the player may either finish or, if possible and desired, continue by hopping over another marble. So that clears that. Image. All right, so you can. And I will just grab a something. No, no, no. Oh, God, God, what have I done? <laughs> what are you doing? There. That's see who goes first. Ah, what are you doing? Ready to call it? Yep. Heads. Heads it is. It's me. You go first. Noob. Very good. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> All right. Oh, whoa! Oh, the snap to grid thing is looks kind of helpful here. Yeah. No, I don't know how to turn it off. Everything has weird... What is happening? Uh, I've broken the game. Click the hand. Is that what I do? Click the oh, hand. Oh, okay. I'm going to jump. Woo! <laughs> yeah. What? I can't draw on the board? How would you draw on the board? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just more powerful than you. <laughs> You're a <laughs> guest at my it? server. That's not cool. <laughs> You're just trying to keep the sanctity no, of your board. Distracted. All right, now you're distracting me. Did you go yet? Yes, you went. <laughs> yes, I did. This is kind of like, well, the starting point, not at all, but sort of mentally reminds me of those games where you have to jump pegs until you're down to one, which I always enjoyed. Like Peggle? No. <laughs> Not like Peggle. <laughs> you know, I've watched a lot of strange Let's Plays, but mm. one of the most entertaining ones I saw was a Peggle Let's Play. Can you do a double jump? I did not know that. Yeah, I told you that at the beginning. <laughs> oh. Otherwise, I would have been gaming some double jump action. Yeah, that's sort of the point. You get these highways set up. Um, Peggle's awesome. Well, not, nothing against Peggle. Just, uh... Oh, it just seemed weird to me to watch a Let's Play of something like that, but... I mean, half of it is just the hypnotic movement of lights and colors. Yeah, pretty much. Especially, it's pretty fun watching. I always, I, I have in the past gone on YouTube looking for, like, here's how you do this shot, so you get all of the pegs, but never found anything like that. I sort of expected that to exist. 
I think there's a little bit of like chaos involved in yes, that. Yes, I believe so. Can't quite get it every single time. Whoa! Get back! Whoa! See, this is why you've got the nice noob label up there. I was going to give you your own label. <laughs> and yet you failed. Yeah, I did. There we go. Uh, writing with my opposite hand. This is really difficult. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, I thought you... Like, I was reading that as the C word for a second. I was like, that's not in Joe's style. <laughs> <laughs> no. Because it's upside down to me. Oh. I can't write with my right hand upside down. C-U-N. Oh. Um, I'm starting to realize that I'm setting up just a giant highway for you to come barreling into my... Probably want to break that up. Oh. <laughs> I am sad. And then I can go one more. You can jump. I think I want to stay there. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Trying not to coach you. In... Wasn't that a Muppet sub segment? Yep, 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 yep. Yes, aliens. Ah, yes. I was trying. I, I could almost see it in my head, but I couldn't remember. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Brrr, and the phone rings. Just <laughs> the phone ringing, thinking they're talking to it. Did you go? I did. Okay. Some boring, yeah. Pretty much a simpler move. Nothing exciting. Uh, I understand some of the strategy all of a sudden here. Whether or not you are seeing the jumps I'm seeing, and if I'm hamstringing myself for no good reason, I don't know, but... I'm mostly just trying to make it so you can't, like, dive over all of my stuff. Yeah, that's, uh... Definitely where you sort of land, huh? And it goes! One, two... two. And then everything opens up. One, two, three. Nice move. In your triangle. <laughs> your triangle or belong to us. First blood. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a <laughs> shock. Oh. <laughs> what? I don't know. You just hit that very deep. Well, oh, you hit that well. That note, if you will. <laughs> I don't use the, my voices enough. I've got a deep voice. I should be able to do better. Two. Three. See, I didn't know if that was a proper jump. I didn't know if you could go left or right. Do I need to read the rules again? <laughs> All right. One. Two. Each hop may be over any colored marble, including the player's own, and can proceed in any of the six directions. Okay, any of the six. That's good to know. Yes. Yes. All please. right. <laughs> I accidentally made like a Lamba symbol. Or Lamba. <laughs> accidentally, it's, Tony. It's getting all Half Life up in here. Uh huh. Accident. Half Life Three confirmed. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Dinosaurs remain. I moved. All right. <laughs> oh, so many dinosaurs! Good Lord. One, two. Three. Yeah. It's weird not taking pieces off. Yeah, that is a little strange. I imagine with six people, this would get pretty crazy in here. Yeah. Also, a lot of blocking and gumming up, too, probably. It would probably be pretty fun, though. That does, yeah, you say that, and now all of a sudden I'm thinking it, and it does look pretty fun. Hmm. You got your marbles out in a hurry. Yeah. All the marbles are on the table. <laughs> That's not how the thing goes. <laughs> All right. Um, don't really see a lot of movement here, so just throw myself there. Yeah, it's not the worst I've seen. I'm going to start getting my... Oh, wait, I might as well go here. Oh, oh might as well go... Oh, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> you could go right if you wanted to. I'm not sure it would help you much. Yeah, it didn't help me much. I did see that, but... All right, let's go with mm, just so you can't hop. Yeah. 
take the block. Mm-hmm. What was your favorite board game as a child? That's a good question. Probably Sorry. I loved Sorry. We should do that sometime. <laughs> Just my- Trademark or not. What fun. Trust I'm mm-hmm. running around thinking of going, huh? <laughs> Probably. And then, let's see. That was like, you know, seven, eight, nine ish. More adulty games. Uh, definitely Trivial Pursuit. One, two, three. That's the only reason why I know anything about the 80s is we had a uh, yeah. eight Trivial Pursuit board. Yeah, like I can name the sequential uh, Secretary Generals of the UN in like 1950. <laughs> <laughs> Just for stupid reasons. Um, Clue I always hated. I, I I could get down on Clue sometimes. I think I can. Okay, I take that back. Actually, I don't. I never didn't always hate it. I guess as a kid, I sort of liked it, and then I went back to it. Tried to go back to it recently, and it was just like, this isn't <laughs> enjoyable. This is just stupid. Like, there's the core of a good game there. Where you have to process of elimination, but all the other crap they make you do is just mind numbing. Yeah, I could definitely see that. It's been a while since I've actually played, like, a full game of Clue. Yeah, that will. No, sir. Damn it. (laughs) Foiled again. Uh, Let's see here. I guess I will move. You get to move. It's getting weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you had enough people, Boulder Dash was always one of my favorites. I don't think I ever played Boulder Dash. Make up definitions for things. It's pretty great. Ah, very nice. And I, would t- I tend to like the more involved ones nowadays. I don't like... I've... I like a game whenever I'm actually, like, playing it with people that gets pretty involved. Like, I keep hearing about that Cthulhu game. Like, Danny Brophy always tells us about it, or tells me about it, that you can actually play it by yourself, and it's one of the only board games that you could play by yourself that stays super entertaining. Hmm. Did you move? Yeah. Okay. Um, We have that mod, don't we? I think so. Okay. It's based on a game, at, at the very least, that we have. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, won a whole bunch of awards and stuff, and it's very... Revolutionary in that regard, um, but that, that means the setup is like large. Yeah, I found that uh, that Cthulhu Monopoly set that's going to be being sold soon. That looks pretty awesome. If it's not go directly insane instead of go to jail, I'm going to be very very disappointed. Um, did you go? Yes. It's going to be like oh wait no I'm going to do this one two three. Damn. Put directly to the gods. Gods. the old gods and the forgotten ones, the ancient ones. Yeah, the ancient ones. There's a lot of different names for them. No, but they're two different. I learned this during the at the edge of the universe battle. Cthulhu in space. I have a lot. To say I learned about a lot battle. about Lovecraft during uh, our booty call of Cthulhu that you made me do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sounds very strange out of context. <laughs> What was that? That was here. From <laughs> what? All right. I'm. I just got no good moves, man. No. 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 Fine. There. Hmm. 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 Still no really good jumps. I sort of see, yeah. Well, how many are going to move? I, I picked it up and I put it oh, back okay. down. okay, I thought that one was coming. <laughs> no, I got three. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if this board would bother people that have, like, tetraphobia. Probably, isn't that by definition what what bothers them? <laughs> like, just the, like, the pegs and everything? Wait, I went on that phobia? subreddit. 
tetraphobia is where you've got like an uh, com- a fear of uh, like holes or dark spaces, oh. like inside of holes, like certain flowers, like really creep them out, or especially like the the worst one I saw is someone who got a chest hair transplant where they moved their chest hairs to their head, and it made all these little pockets and pits like in the human skin, oh. and they were just like completely one, two, three, four. Oh. That was my best move so far. I and like that one actually got to me a little bit, but like I, if there's like weird little pits in wood, it like freaks him out. I would imagine someone. It's a very strange phobia. Some would be affected. Yes. All right, one, two. I'm gonna tell you to rethink that one. Oh, was I right here? No, you were where you were, but the second jump could be a little more beneficial to you. Oh, there, there, there. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you tell me that? I don't know. This talk of Cthulhu has me worried about mice <laughs> and chest pits. <laughs> I think it's tetraphobia. I might be mistaken. Those are terrible subreddits. All of them. Yeah. Any of the phobia subreddits are just. <laughs> Even if I'm like, ah, this isn't really a fear, I'm uh, immediately, I'm just the first picture in there, I'm always just like, all right! <laughs> oh, it's like it always just amps it up so yeah, much. Yeah, like the epitome of, yeah. Uh, Go to the arachnophile subreddit, that's just creepy because of how much people love those spiders. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're up. Come on, you don't love spiders? Spiders. Like, people practically fetishizing, like, molts and things? Yeah, it's, uh, no. One, two. So, graphics-wise, how does this compare to Fallout 4? I, you know, I could see this board being in Fallout 4. <laughs> like, you know how, like, all the little side things yeah. are not quite as good? But, like, the, the people rendering and everything is just awesome. Like, so much of that game is just beautiful. And people are ragging on it already. Like, people are it's not so satisfied with the graphics. Well, the thing is, it's Bethesda, so you have those, like... The fact that you've been like, off of their games for a long time, those just, like, bugs that are, you're just like, really? <laughs> like, you have, like, this large of a world with this much detail, but, like, you know, the first scorpion I come across is just stuck in a rock? Like, I haven't had any of those bugs yet. Like, I'm sure it'll come, <laughs> but I haven't had a, like, I really have not had a problem with any of the graphics, any of the design. One of the best things about it right now is that, uh, they made it so you don't always have to open up your menu to loot. Like, whenever yeah, you just kind of, like, mouse over, it allows you to uh, to just take stuff off of a body so it's not, like, constantly breaking combat to, like, open a chest. Mm-hmm. So, it's pretty cool. The new perk system I'm trying to get the hang of, but I kind of like it. I Apparently there's, like, 285 levels, so you can just keep leveling up That's and keep, cool. like... Because getting new, the new weirdo stuff is always part of the large part of the fun for me. Yeah, and you can... You can get all of your points maxed out, like all of your special points over the course of time. Mm -hmm. So you can have your 10 intelligence and your 10 strength and just be like this crazy brute that's hyper intelligent. So I'm just having fun, like, exploring right now. I didn't get very far in it last night. Did you move? Yes. All right, sorry. I was focused on Fallout. All right. And then... Yeah, some of those lateral moves are like, is it really that beneficial? Like it's cool to see that if I leave that guy over there, it's going to help you more, yeah. possibly. Hmm. You're coming on strong here at the end. Let's see here. You've got, like, this entire area open, though, but it's not good for skipping. No. No, it is not. And skipping's what you need. Um, these guys aren't in the triangle yet. I can probably set up some sort of relay. Problem is I have no control over you or guys. I think I want to do this. Let's see here. Yeah. Yep, 
You're breathing a little heavy into the mic. I am. That's actually not an AV thing. That's me, like, breathing. Breathing intensifies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like my hand was smushed my, against my that's face. So <laughs> that's concentrated breathing. I can get back to uh, my base really well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of jumps that would do that for me. Ah, uh, everything I do sets you up for at least one jump. I mean, you could, yeah. Just. It's always a like it's a question of how many steps do you want to expend yep. to like set up one of these. Like if I could go, th I could go there, and that would give me yeah. As always with these, the game's a little more interesting than you think at first. Well, maybe not you, but I'm totally interested. Maybe I'm just cynical. Mm -hmm. All right. You bastard. <laughs> All right. Now I don't know what to do at all. Mm. 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 That is a good one. Yeah. Couldn't quite get it in, but it's close. I was trying to set that up for a while. And like you said, it literally was me being like, well, if I move that, move that one two over, does that save me any... Is that good? <laughs> is this a good move? <laughs> uh. Uh. Well, it's all about the relays, right? I feel like if you marched it correctly, like, and you just gave up on giant jumps, you could totally just leapfrog over each other over and over and over again. And probably do pretty well. Yeah, it's possible. I think, okay, I'm learning as we play this that, yeah, setting up your own little pathways is pretty important. You know, in this endgame, maybe even especially in this endgame. It is your turn, by the way. Uh, did you go after I went? I believe so. All right. One, two. If not, I have gifted you a move. Yes, yes, you have. One, two. Just a small arm spasm. <laughs> One. Did you end up getting uh, the Amazon delivery of Fallout? No, they were having a deal at Target or uh, at Best Buy where if you buy a PS4 right now, you get a free copy of Fallout along with uh, the Drake's Fortune trilogy. I wasn't a huge fan of those, so. I, I kind of like them. Not, I mean, they're not bad by any means. They just didn't quite click with me. Did you just go? Yep, it's your turn. All right. And I I had bought my PS4 from them a couple weeks back, so I went in and returned it and immediately bought it back. That's right. And they just gave me a copy of Fallout for being a loyal customer, and I knew the manager. So. <laughs> Probably more than I knew the manager than anything else. Well, I mean, it's not like you did anything... Wrong. Well, I like I, I told him I was like I bought this specifically for Fallout. Yeah. Like I like I bought my TV through you guys. I'm pretty loyal about this sort of stuff. I used to work here. I mean, he could have stuck to probably some rule, but it's just good customer service not to be. A... Yeah, they like they had no problem with it, and so I was I was pretty satisfied. So yay, Best Buy for not being dicks about stuff. Yay. 
Fantastic. And so now I get a I got the free copy of Fallout for two days before my Amazon one gets here, and that is kind of a dick move by me because I'm just going to sell this to someone else. Which one? I I'm going to keep the Pit Boy in the special edition and sell the normal version. Right. Even though I think the only reason this one is special is that it has a metal case. Gotcha. Which is enough for me. Okay. I think you might have this, but it's going to come down. I have three. I need three moves. Yeah, I'm trying to think. If I have... Let's see... It's going to be cutting it real close for me. One. Two. Damn it. Three. That was close. How many more do you need? One, two, three. Oh, I was going to, like, I think I I set it up wrong at the last second. Like, I moved one of them wrong because I thought I would be able to go over. Mm Mm-hmm. So I need, like, two or three more. Yeah. So, close game, though. That's yeah, we seem to be having Chinese close, more fun. close matches thus far in these games we've been choosing. Yeah. Good stuff. Not like me running through Al for a little bit. <laughs> I had a nice streak there. I had, like, seven in a row. <laughs> um, yes, he would be talking while you would slowly learn the game. Yeah. All right. Oh, we did 26 minutes of that. I, that did not feel like 26 minutes. That felt like 10 minutes. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, my sense of time is shot from Extra Life, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a little bit weird. Those last, like, six hours went so quickly. I watch it. I watch some Transform Mice. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's just completely <laughs> gibberishing and just, oh, my God. Um. All right. All right. Uh, we want what we need you guys to do is start suggesting some games for us that you'd like to see us play. So hit up the comments, suggest a game, hit like, hit subscribe, share this with your friends. We really appreciate that you guys stuck it out and watched it with us. Those of you that went to our extra life, that was awesome too. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Thanks, guys.